Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today I thought I'd do a, uh, show your web page because there's a few bits of talking on here, so I thought that I would just show it to you and then you can have a read through it with me. This is uh, regarding the penalty decision which was given to uh, Wilfred Zaha at the Nottingham Forest game. Now, he um, he went down in the box, the penalty was given, it was a long VAR check and it, the penalty stood and, you know, what happened after that is, is whatever happened. But there is um, talk about... Um, how manager or how referees are going to deal with people like Wilfred Zaha after his um, controversy. Now, I don't see there's no any controversy, but anyway, referees need specialist coaching to deal with Wilfred Zaha after Crystal Palace controversy. Referees need specialist coaching, according to Keith Hackett. Now, uh, now, Keith Hackett, you can say what you want about him, but apparently, speaking exclusively to Football Insider, the ex FIFA and Premier League referee delivered his verdict after Zaha won an iffy penalty during Crystal Palace's 1 0 loss to Tottenham Forest, uh, Tottenham Forest, Nottingham Forest on Saturday. I do apologize. Um, he said, uh, as shown on BBC Man's Match of the Day program, Crystal Palace rewarded a spot kick for Scott McKenna's challenge on the 30 year old. Uh, he then obviously missed the penalty, which will glaze over. He said, um, I was surprised at the decision, Hackett said, after analysing the footage with Football Insider. I think Zaha makes it very difficult for referees because of his exaggeration. If you look at it, I think he puts his left leg into his opponent's first, in, into the opponent first half, opponent first, I should say, and then there's a bit of a spinning action. I, be, I personally believe he was lucky to get a penalty kick. Uh, he's got reputation, and when you look at it, he's worked for it, and the defender and the referee have fallen for it. It looked a bit iffy. If I'm coaching referees, when Zaha goes into the box, they've got to move in and squeeze the play in order to get a good view. Uh, then... What you need is, if it's not a given or given, the VAR needs to review it. Uh, he's good at what he does. I'll tell you, it's not easy for a referee. These guys are so good that sometimes they don't need to, they don't get penalty kicks when they deserve them. That's how difficult it is for match referees. I would say that um, I think I think it was a penalty. I, I, I think it probably was a penalty. I think that, uh, you know, Wilfred Zaha may have... Um, exaggerated it a slight amount but then he's not the only one to do it a lot of people do it in the game it's not just Wilfred Zaha and there are lots of you know there are lots of high profile players out there in the Premier League and around the world who will exaggerate going down for penalties I don't know why necessarily he's been singled out here but um, you know I, I I don't think referees need specialist coaching if they're good referees they can spot it um, you know it depends on whether the referee's good or not and you know we've seen this season that not necessarily always the case but I don't think this is anything specifically against Wilfred Zaha I think it's just a case of referees have to be aware that some some people do you know look for penalties um, but that doesn't mean that it's not a penalty it just means that you know they've still been caught they've just perhaps over over egged it a little bit sometimes but you know that's what VAR is supposed to be there for it's supposed to check these decisions you know, whether they're given or not VAR has the ability and the tools to look at it properly and decide whether it's a penalty or not they decided it was a penalty now I know VAR isn't always right but they have the benefit of the extra angles and, and how to look at it and slow down and all that kind of stuff. So I don't, I'm not entirely sure what the beef is here, but you know, let me know your thoughts anyway. Do you think that referees need specialist training to deal with players like Wilfred Zaha in the box? Or do you think this is all just a load of nonsense? Let me know down in the comments.